Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the derivatives of exponential function. And to find the derivative of exponential function, we have two different formulas that you need to remember. The first one is the derivative of e raised to u, that is e raised to u multiplied by u prime. And the second one is the derivative of a raised to u is equal to a raised to u multiplied by u prime times ln a. So those are the formulas that you need to remember in order for us to find the derivative of exponential function. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to find the derivative of exponential function. And to answer numbers 1 to 4, we are going to have the derivative of e raised to u, that is e raised to u multiplied by u prime. For number 1, what is the derivative of e raised to x? So as you can see, the value of u is x. And u prime, that is the derivative of x, that is 1. So therefore, the derivative of e raised to x, that is e raised to x multiplied by u prime, that is 1. Or we can write our answer as 1 e raised to x or e raised to x. And this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the derivative of e raised to 5x plus 13? So let us identify the value of u. That is 5x plus 13. And we have u prime. That is the derivative of 5x plus 13. The derivative of 13 is 0. And the derivative of 5, 5x is 5. So therefore, we are going to have e raised to u multiplied by u prime. That is e, and the value of u is 5x plus 13 multiplied by u prime, that is 5. So our final answer will be 5e raised to 5x plus 13. This will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of e raised to x square? So we have the value of u, that is x square, and u prime, that is the derivative of x square, we have 2x. So therefore, we are going to have e raised to u multiplied by u prime. So let us have the truth. Let us have e. And the value of u, that is x squared, multiplied by u prime, that is 2x. So our final answer is 2x e raised to x squared. This will be our answer. On example number 4, what is the derivative of e raised to x cubed plus 8x? So let us have u, that is x cubed plus 8x and then u prime that is the derivative of x cubed plus 8x so the derivative of x cubed that is 3x squared and the derivative of 8x that is 8 so therefore we are going to have e raised to u multiplied by u prime so let us have e and the value of u, that is x cubed, plus 8x, multiplied by u prime, that is 3x squared, plus 8. And to write our final answer, let us multiply 3x squared, plus 8, times e raised to x cubed, plus 8x. And that is 3x squared, plus 8, times e raised to x cubed, plus 8. 8x, and this will be our answer. On the second set of example, we are going to use the formula, the derivative of a raised to u, that is a raised to u multiplied by u prime times ln a. And we are going to use this one to answer the set of questions from numbers 5 to 8. So let us have number 5. What is the derivative of 3 raised to x? 
So to find the derivative of 3 raised to x, let us identify first the value of a, that is 3, and the value of u, that is x, and u prime, that is the derivative of x, which is 1. So let us have this one. We have a raised to u times u prime multiplied by ln a. So let us substitute the given. So a will be 3, and then u, that is x, and then we have u prime, that is 1, multiplied by ln a, that is 3. So let us write our answer as 3 raised to x ln 3. And this will be our answer. On number 6, what is the derivative of 7 raised to 2x minus 5? So let us have the value of a, that is 7, and u, that is 2x minus 5, and let us have u prime, that is the derivative of 2x minus 5. The derivative of negative 5 is 0, and the derivative of 2x is 2. So let us have a raised to u multiplied by u prime times ln a. So let us have 7 raised to u, that is 2x minus 5, and then u prime, that is 2, and then we have ln 7. So let us rewrite our answer. Let us have 2, and then 7 raised to 2x minus 5 ln 7. And this will be our answer. On number 7, what is the derivative of 9x squared? So let us have a, that is 9, u, that is x squared, and then u prime, that's right here, that is the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. So let us have a raised to u times u prime times ln a. So we have 9 raised to x squared times u prime, that is 2x, and then ln 9. So let us write our answer. Let us have 2x and then 9x square and then ln 9. And this will be our answer. What about number 8? What is the derivative of 5 raised to 2x minus x square? So let us have a, we have 5, and then u, that is 2x minus x square, and then u prime. So let us have the derivative of 2x, that is 2, and the derivative of x square, that is 2x. So let us have a raised to u times u prime times ln a. So a will be 5, and u is 2x minus x square, and then u prime is 2 minus 2x and ln 5. So let us simplify. Let us have 2 minus 2x times 5 raised to 2x minus x square times ln 5. And this will be our answer. On the third set of example, we have the value of u as trigonometric function. So let us have number 9. What is the derivative of e raised to sine x? So let us identify first the value of u, that is sine x. And u prime, that is the derivative of sine x, that is cosine x. So let us simplify. The derivative of e raised to u is e raised to u multiplied by u prime. So let us have e and u, that is sine x multiplied by u prime, that is cosine x. So to write our final answer, we are going to have cosine x e raised to sine 
x. And this will be our answer. On number 10, what is the derivative of 4 raised to tangent x? So let us have a, that is 4, and then u, that is tangent x, and u prime, that is the derivative of tangent x, which is second square x. So let us have the derivative of a raised to u, that is a raised to u times u prime multiplied by ln a. So a is 4 and u is tangent x. And u prime, that is second square x and then ln 4. So let us write this one as second square x times 4 raised to tangent x multiplied by ln 4. This will be our answer. On number 11, what is the derivative of x cubed e raised to 4x? So to find the derivative of x cubed e raised to 4x, we are going to use a product rule because we have the product of x cubed and e raised to 4x. So let us have u prime times v plus u v prime. So let us identify the value of u that is x cubed. And then we have u prime that is the derivative of x cubed. So we have 3x squared. And then v that is e raised to 4x. And let us have v prime that is the derivative of e raised to 4x. So this one is written in the form of e raised to u times u prime. So let us have e and then u that is 4x. And u prime, that is the derivative of 4x, which is 4. So let us simplify. So v prime will be 4e raised to 4x. So let us substitute this one to the formula. u prime is 3x squared. And then v, that is e raised to 4x plus u, that is x cubed. And then v prime that is 4 e raised to 4x so to write our final answer we are going to take the greatest common factor so the greatest common factor of x square or 3x square and x cube is x square and the greatest common factor of e raised to 4x and 4 e raised to 4x is e raised to 4x and then let us have 3x square divided by x square, that is 3, and then e raised to 4x divided to itself, that is 1, and then we have x cubed divided by x square, that is x, and then 4 e raised to 4x divided by e raised to 4x will be 4. So let us simplify. So our final answer will be x square e raised to 4x, 3 plus 4x. This will be our answer. On example number 12, what is the derivative of e raised to x plus e raised to negative x all over e raised to x minus e raised to negative x? So to answer this question, we are going to use a quotient rule. And quotient rule, that is v times u prime minus u times b prime all over b square. So let us identify first the value of u. u, that is the numerator, that is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x. And then let us have u prime, that is the derivative of u. So let us have the derivative of e raised to x, that is e raised to x. And then let us have the derivative of positive e raised to negative x, that is negative e raised to negative x. And then let us have v, that is the denominator, which is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x. And then 
v prime that is the derivative of v so the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x and the derivative of negative e raised to negative x is positive e raised to negative x so let us substitute so let us have v that is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x multiply by u prime that is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x minus u that is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x multiply by v prime that is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x and then let us have v on the denominator that is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x and then square since we have the same term let us rewrite this one as e raised to x minus e raised to negative x square minus e raised to x plus e raised to negative x square and then copy the denominator so how can we simplify this expression so let us represent this one as a square and then the operation and this one as b square so the value of a is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x and the value of b that is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x since we have a square minus b square a square minus b square that is a plus b times a minus b so to simplify this one we are going to substitute the value of a plus b multiplied by a minus b so let us have the value of a which is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x plus the value of b that is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x multiplied by the value of a that is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x minus let us have a quantity for b that is b is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x and then let us copy the denominator so let us simplify let us um, cancel this one so we are going to have e raised to x plus e raised to x that is 2 e raised to x and then let us distribute the negative sign so let us write this one as e raised to x minus e raised to negative x minus e raised to x minus e raised to negative x and let us cancel this one so we are going to have now negative e raised to negative x minus e raised to negative x will be negative 2 e raised to negative x and then let us copy the denominator e raised to x minus e raised to negative x square so let us simplify 2 multiplied by negative 2 that is negative 4 and then let us have e and then let us add the exponent e plus negative x all over e raised to x minus e raised to negative x square x minus x will be 0 e raised to 0 that is 1 and 1 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 4 and then let us have this one e raised to x minus e raised to negative x square and this will be our final answer so i hope you will learn from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all